video series. Uh, today we're actually going to go over how to properly groom your horse. Um, today we're actually going to work with Honey. She's a pony that's actually for sale. And uh, every time we're getting the, we think the horse is ready to kind of go for sale, we do a cleanup day. So today's her cleanup day. So we're going to use her as our example pony today. So today we're actually going to learn um, how to brush her horse properly. And uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is our brushes. I just keep my brushes in a cute little bag. We have one for each horse here. Um, and in that bag, you'll find a curry comb. They come in a little bit different shapes and sizes, but essentially this is what it looks like. The purpose of the curry comb is actually to bring up all the hair and dirt to the surface. Uh, so when you come along with your next brush, we can uh, take it off. The second brush, or technically it's the first brush, is the daddy brush. And this brush we use in sweeping motions, flicking motions, and we wanna see dirt flying. And it actually takes off that first go through of all that hair and dirt we've brought up. Third brush is what we call the body brush because it is very much like the dandy brush, but uh, it has softer bristles. So it does that final swipe through, takes off the last little bit of hair, the dirt. And the last brush that we'll cover is uh, the hoof pick. So we're gonna use this to pick out our horse's feet. So I'm gonna go through each of those brushes. Uh, but first I wanna really talk about why grooming's important. So there's a few reasons. One, it gives you a chance to look over your horse and check for injuries, abnormalities maybe heat in a leg or some, a girth gall, something you haven't noticed before. It also gives a, gives a chance to kind of give almost a little bit of massage, but it actually starts the blood circulating going, the actually brushing brings all the dirt up into the surface. Um, it's good for that. And uh, let's get to brushing. All right, so with the curly comb, we're gonna start at the top of the neck. We're gonna go in a circular motion and we are gonna stay on the muscly areas of the horse, meaning we're mostly not going to be on the legs. We wanna bring up that hair and that dirt to the surface because we are gonna use the rest of the brushes to take it off. Our uh, last actual brush is the body brush. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start at the top of the neck. We are gonna go in the direction of the hair. We're just really gonna take off that last little bit of dirt or hair that's left. Again, it's springtime here. So we, uh, we have to clean our brushes because they're shedding. I'm gonna make sure I do under the belly where the girth goes. I also make sure I get under the chest I will do the legs with this brush and the rub. All right, one thing to take note when we're using the dandy brush or any brush actually um, on the horse's legs is when you're bending down, don't be on your knees on the ground like this. Make sure that you're actually on your feet um, and bending at the hips so that if the horse spooks, you can easily move. So we talked about most of the time actually just going with the direction of the hair, but sometimes actually you do need to go back and forth. Some horses will have, you know, dirt on their hocks. They might like to lay down a lot. So you do have to go back and forth. Some of the mares you'll see, much like this mare right here, they have pee on the inside of their legs. Last but not least is the hoof pick, and we're gonna use this to clean the horse's feet out. We're gonna start by putting our shoulder to their shoulder. We're gonna take our left hand. We're just gonna let it come down the leg. You can see she's used to this. She picks her leg up. When we do get to the end, and she actually gets her hoof up, I actually hold the hoof versus the leg. It's easier to keep it. Take my hoof pick, and I'm gonna pick downward, making sure that there are no rocks or dirt. 
And I'm also checking for health of the hoof. I want to make sure it doesn't have any thrush, which is something common we have here on the, the west coast. Uh, and make sure there aren't any injuries. So we've done the same thing here. We have put our leg down the leg and squeezed at the bottom. And now we're just going to pick out the hoof. You can see I'm picking downward so that all the dirt comes out. I'm holding the actual hoof. You can see the grooves in here. This is the frog. We want to make sure it's not damaged. We want to make sure we get all the way in those grooves. And then we can set the hoof down. Thanks for watching today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you'd like to see our future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button.